Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to All In Auto Win. Your boy here, Power Raider. I'm about to show you guys my Power Raider Command Center. Let's do this. Hi everybody, I'm here with Steve Trevia, otherwise known as Power Raider. You've seen him in quite a lot of my videos. So, you know, it's the off season and what I decided to do is since there's no games, I've been going to events, but I also wanted to meet with Raider fans one on one and do this series of like my Raider story, yeah. you know, what's your story. So I appreciate you doing it. I wanted you to be one of the first because you're a big part of the second half of the year. And uh, so here we are today just to talk a little bit about Raiders, our history with the Raiders and um, just our general thoughts about the team and the Raider Nation. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Absolutely. Thank you for inviting me over. Well, actually, thank you. You invited me over. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to when your your fandom started. When did you become a Raiders fan? I always grew up watching Raiders, Raiders football all the time. My mom and dad die hard, my, my brothers, everybody. And that's what we would watch. And we always watched it on TV because that's what we could afford. You know, I've never been to a professional football game um, or anything like that. And so I always watched the Raiders play all the time on TV. And when I worked at a bank uh, called U.S. Bank, I was one of the tellers there. And I met a good friend of mine. Now he's a good friend of mine. I, I, he was just a customer, business customer. His name is Rick, and uh, him and his wife, Rick and Karen Silos, one day they surprised me with tickets to the game days, and um, it was 2015. From there, I was just spoiled. <laughs> all the Oakland Raider games, I always been at the club axis. I got to meet all the cheerleaders, the mascots, uh, get to meet the players one on one, and see Rod Martin a lot all the time at the club axis. All, all these different players. I mean, uh, uh, Howie Long. Uh, I mean, you name it. Um, but how did Power Raider came to be? Uh, friends from all over would say, "How come you don't become a super fan?" I mean, because I'm already, I was already dressing up as a super fan. If you guys don't know, before Power Raider, I had this foam hat with a flag, and that was my outfit, my game day outfit every what, single did time. Did you have a name? No, it's just Stevo. Everybody okay. called me Stevo. Steve yeah, yeah, all the players, Stevo, Stevo, and I, I was not known as Power Raider. Now, if you say Stevo, who's Stevo? If you say Power Raider, <laughs> oh, I know Power Raider. You know, I, I it, it's funny because my Instagram, my Power Raider Instagram started um, early, early twenty, no, late twenty nineteen. I announced that I'm, I was coming out as Power Raider, and nobody knew how I looked, mm. and I was just promoting it like left and right because. Let's be honest, there's a lot of fans that got hyped up and crazy, just like myself with the move to Las Vegas. And, hey, you know what? Let's be a character, right? Let's let's be something cool, you know? It's Las Vegas. Anything mm -hmm. could happen. You could be anything you want in Las Vegas. Your first year as Power Raider was 2020, but that yes. was COVID, right? No fans in the no. stadium. So uh, the day I debuted it was, if I'm not mistaken, November 22nd of 2020. We played against the Chiefs that year. Debuted in a place we all known as Tommy Rockers. Tommy Rockers was a spot, you know, every Raider fan would go there. It's very close to the stadium. I mean, uh, it, it was a great, great location. So it was COVID. You weren't allowed to go to the stadium, nope. but you go, could go to a bar with a bunch oh, of Raider yeah. fans. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Like, every game day, you know, after November, I was suited up. I was going over there to every, uh, every home game dressed up. I guess you yeah. had some extra COVID protection with the helmet, though. Oh, right? yeah. 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 They, they say, sure, you got to wear a mask. I'm like, I, I have a whole yeah. helmet on. Like, <laughs> what more do I need, you know? That's awesome. What specifically, why Power Raider? I grew up watching Power Rangers and Raiders football. You know, I, I'm uh, I'm an 80s baby, 86 to mm -hmm. be exact. And, you know, growing up, you know, 94, you know, watching the Power Rangers, everybody wanted to be the Green Ranger. Rest in peace, Jason David Frank. To be be a Power Ranger was something that every kid wanted to be. Yeah. You know, me being a chunky boy, I didn't care. I wanted to be a Power Ranger. You know, what better character, you know, than combining my both childhood great memories, which is the Power Rangers and Raiders football. You know, and I mashed them up together and created the ultimate mashup, which is Power Raider. 
you know so all my gear my whole my whole getup you know is all original power rangers the helmet to the morpher to the sword to the gun everything is all original uh saban power rangers you know uh, uh material even this helmet right here this is an original red ranger helmet so you guys can see the red in there you know it got airbrushed by some good friends of mine um called air graphics and they they specialize in motorcycle helmets but i told them hey i have a special request he did the helmet for me now i got two more in the making i actually have a, a pink ranger one which uh which i'm gonna hopefully have it this season so i have my my daughter you know oh, be with me nice i think you've told me before about your drinking habits on the day of a game what what do you do to because getting out of the costume oh is yeah easy, right so what do you do on game day okay so game day um i fast pretty much i fast the whole game i cannot you know uh <laughs> go to the restroom and zip yeah. or anything it's hard i usually go with a friend or whatever to unzip me if i have to go but i think i only use the restroom twice through all the games i've i've been at in las vegas you know, you have I, I have my 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 bodysuit. I have to unzip myself. Mm -hmm. I got my uh, you know my my performance underwear that has a cup and all that. Because mm -hmm. you know the first time I came out as pirate, you know it wasn't nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my wife did not agree she's like you need to wear something i was struggling with that with my outfit my yeah it was the front the yeah. front's a little weird yeah family a little bit yeah. tell me about your wife and kids how many what are, the, what are the names what's what's going on i start with the very oldest one he is 26 years old um he's my wife's son i met him when um he was 16 and next thing you know i met my wife and got her pregnant the same year right away uh, and my son was born um benjamin who now he's going to be 10 years old this year and on top of that he had she had custody of her, both her nephews one of them at that time was six and the other one was four years old so two of them being that they're in her custody you know wherever my wife's at they have to be at so mm -hmm. i married the whole package you yeah. know uh, I, i'm like getting involved with the whole package and i'm like oh, you know what if god is presenting this to me you know there's a reason behind it why you know i mean i always wanted to have kids why not you know so i raised my son danny danny's right here <laughs> he played football and everything i raised them you know all raider fans my other son joseph He's also a Raider fan, and my son's a Raider fan, and so um, they're uh, uh, essentially they're foster kids of uh, uh, that my wife had, and so when we decided to tie the knot and all that, I had to get you know uh, fingerprinted, you know I had to get life scan, pass my background check. I might be bald, but I'm not a criminal guy, <laughs> you know, because a lot of people like they they have that perception. You know, Raider fans, oh bald cholo, you know, is that <laughs> no, nah, no man, I'm a huge teddy bear. What does Maria think about Power Raider? <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask this. <laughs> Your oh, wife. Uh, what's her thoughts on? Uh, you know, does she think you're crazy? Does she support it? You know, my wife has been a huge support to me with all my crazy ideas I've done. I mean, when I told her, hey, you know what? I'm going to these games and I wanted to be Power Raider. In the beginning, it was like, okay, um, she didn't kind of believe it, you know. <laughs> or she didn't know how heavy and ball I was gonna be. I know the feeling. <laughs> and, and and it's like it's kind of like it's it's kind of like okay, well, it's gonna be part of your marriage now. <laughs> Am I remembering correctly that there, you you adopted at least one yeah. of the two? So Daniel is adopted. I think he was fourteen. Fourteen when we adopted him, and and that's when we out in the in front of the judge and adopted him. And now we're in the process of getting our other son, Joseph. You know, he's in our care. You know, they're not my biological kids, but they're my kids. Yeah. You know, and I treat them all fair, and so my kids do. You know, um, my son calls them brothers. My daughter calls them brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, there's big brothers. It's funny because I told my my youngest, which is Victoria. I was like, hey, man, when you decide to get a boyfriend, they got to interview all your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. 
<laughs> yeah. And it's just, I don't know. My my daughter, she, I think she got a little spark of me because she's, she's a, she likes the attention. She's a diva, just yeah. like you. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not a diva. <laughs> but you saw yeah, her you're, dancing you're a diva, and all that. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Did your activity with your kids inspire Run Squad, or did did Run Squad inspire the fostering and adoption? I I, I think the kids came first, and then yeah, Run Squad, right? The kids came first. Okay, so tell me about Run Squad. So being that I was a foster parent and going through the channels and the loops a foster parent has to do, the benefits of being a foster parent, you don't really see that much awareness of foster kids out there. You see awareness of autism. You see breast cancer, breast cancer awareness. You see domestic violence awareness. You see suicide awareness. But what about foster awareness? You know, you don't, you don't even have a month for that or anything like that. And these kids ultimately are on a ticking time bomb. Statistics show that when a child, a foster child, reaches seven years old, seven years old, their chances to adoption go to thirty percent to none. Mm. Everybody wants to adopt the young babies right. all the time. Right. And so being that I went through the challenges and, and the achievements as a foster parent, because it's not, it's, all, it's not all challenges. There's a lot of achievements, too. I decided to, to, uh, to start an organization called Run Squad, which is Raiders United Now Squad. You know, it's just a combination of a lot of key leaders within different chapters, booster clubs, even my club, which I probably represent, all our original Los Angeles Raiders booster club. Um, they've helped me out so much, too. And so I wanted to start bringing awareness to these kids just to shine light on them, give them, uh, give them hope uh, and show them that, you know, they might not have parents you know, but they have the Raider Nation to back them up. You know, we've taken these kids to the Raider games. We've gave them gears, you know, hats, uh, get get them to meet some players. Uh, we give them school supplies, um, hygiene essentials, uh, food, donations. I've had um, one of the kids that we sponsored to go to the Raider game in 2021. She she was an athlete risk teen and um, a good friend of mine. Her name is Hope Smith. She she brought this uh, this teen to us. She was in in a facility and we took her to the Raider game. And it was a it was a surprise for her that we took her to the Raider game because the foster parents were adopting her. (laughs) And so it was such a blessing. I'm like, wow, you know, and it's one foster kid out of the system. Yeah. You know, and that's all it takes. That's amazing. I mean, what you're doing is incredible. Uh, the name, I love the name, the Run Squad, because yeah. it, it makes sense. The Raiders are united now, but uh, tying it into football and the whole Power Raider thing, it's it's really good. You know, not just being a super fan, but you've got, that's one of the things I learned about you very early on. It's like how big your heart is and everything you do. So uh, that's, that is uh, appreciated and and recognized. All right, Steve. Thank you so much for doing it. I appreciate it. We got Steve Trevia, Power Raider. Come to Allegiant. Come to the games and say what's up to your boy. There you go. Just send me a message. You guys can follow me at GoGo Power Raider and all the social media platforms on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram at GoGo Power Raider. If it's your first time at the stadium, let me know. I'm usually there. Give you guys high five. You know, give you a little like a welcome patch or sticker whatever i have i'm usually giving away all the time yeah you know all right man cool. thanks you're gonna make you're gonna make your <laughs> that's right yeah